And I really think that this is a metaphor for the downfall of a relationship. Tickling ruins things. Even though you think it's maybe a little bit, and it's kind of cute, and it's kind of fun and funny at first, over time it builds up to the point where you just have to get out. I don't know if any of you have ever dated a tickler who couldn't stop tickling you. I don't know if you've even dealt with the more small-scale case of being tickled when you don't want to be fucking tickled right then and there. Few things make me feel more manic and crazy than when I'm tickled and I really don't want to be tickled right then and there. Someone pokes me and I'm like, <laughs> fucking stop it! You just don't, you sound crazy. So like, <laughs> I will, I will punch you in the kidneys and you will walk funny as a result if you tickle me again. Fingers get broken, they'll so all of a sudden they can't hitchhike properly. That's what I will do. Oh my god. I once dated a girl where every time I yawn, she'd stick her finger in my mouth. I work a lot. There, are, I yawn like five times a day minimum. And if she was here next to me, I'd be like, I think would like come in out of nowhere like a stealth bomber. It didn't show up on any of my modern equipment. I just knew once it was like, like, like one knuckle past my munchers. I don't know what those are called, but. I'm not going to stop the story. It'd be in here, and I'd stop. I didn't yawn for like three months. And you know what she got out of it? You know what she got out of sticking her finger in my mouth and interrupting mid-yawn? She would go, ha ha ha. And that was it. I never got to yawn. Just so maybe once or twice a day she could go, ha ha ha. So I left her. That's right. That's right. Oh!